Recently, I was doing a lot of research comparing 1000 watt hour power stations, and while researching, I realized Jackery has four different 1000 watt hour power stations. And I actually had recently received an email from Jackery offering to send me their solar generator 1000 V2. But also, I've actually owned the Jackery 300 since last year, and there were some major upgrades specifically in the battery chemistry from my 300 to my 1000 V2. And I really just want you to understand and know these things so you can make an informed decision before making any choice in purchasing a power station. And what better way to test the battery than a classic van life movie night? But first, let me actually introduce you to the Jackery Solar Generator 1000. V2. It hosts 1,070 watt hours of power, has 3,000 watt surge, and with a 1,500 watt output, Jackery has increased their output by more than 50% to their previous generations. And the battery itself is also 10% more efficient than their previous generations. This battery is able to be controlled through their smart app, and using that app, you can activate their emergency supercharge so you can charge the battery from 0 to 100% in one hour. Without supercharge from a regular AC outlet, you can charge it in 1.5 7 hours, and by your vehicle's alternator, you can charge it in 12 hours. And do note, Jackery does not actually include a car charging cable in this kit, which personally I found a little odd as I think every other brand I've ever owned does include a car charging cable, which I just feel like is a little bit... Like, it should be a given since these are mostly used as camping batteries, but I just wanted you to know if you don't plan on using the car charging cable, that's totally fine. If you do, you can definitely still purchase one from their website. The next thing I want to show you that I actually got with this power station as a set is the Jackery Solar Saga 200 watt solar panels. This is a high efficiency panel that takes setup in less than 60 seconds. They have a laminated and IP68 waterproof rated case, and there are stands on the back so you can actually adjust this to your perfect angle. And all you have to do to get it working is plug it in, nothing fancy. You even gain two power outlets in the cord to charge directly from the panels. 200 watts will charge the 1000 V2 in 7 point hours, which of course is dependent on the sun and the weather conditions as well. While I feel like I am very versed and knowledgeable in power stations, I will say this is actually my very first set of portable solar panels, which I'm actually really excited to test out and learn more about over time as I use these. There were definitely plenty of days living in Las Vegas with only my vehicle alternator to charge my battery that I wished I had a set of like this, so I'm excited to test them out and let you guys know more. But now let's get into my review and what I think the Jackery has improved upon and where I think they could do better. So the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to this new Jackery battery is the chemistry upgrade from the previous Jackery 1000s. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is in comparison to their previous Jackeries, which were just lithium ion. This is going to give it a longer lifespan, more charge cycles, and it's less likely to overheat, and it's going to be more stable. So when you're buying a power station, the battery chemistry and lifespan's charge cycles are some of the most important things to be looking out for. It's going to tell you how long your battery is going to last. Another upgrade I really appreciate about the V2 is that this handle folds down, which isn't they've been doing kind of recently in a lot of their new batteries. My 300 also has a folding um, handle like this. Before they weren't, and I just really appreciate that this is going to make it be able to fit in more spots and be more stackable. You can place things on top of it. It's going to be able to fit and be more compact, which when you live in a van like me is really important. Going back to talking about the life cycles, this battery has 4,000 cycles, which makes it tied for the longest life cycles that you can get from a major battery brand. So something else you may be noticing here is that this actually only has seven ports on it in comparison to some of these battery brands that are just kind of throwing in a million ports on there. Um, personally, that is okay for me as I know what I'm doing and I know how I camp and I know how I use these batteries and I've never plugged in more than three things at once. That's why I always say before you buy a battery, know what you want to use it for, know you know, are you the kind of person who wants to plug 16 things in at once? That's totally fine. Um, but for me, three ports is all I really need. My laptop, my phone, and maybe something else. Maybe I'm going to make dinner. Maybe I'm going to be charging the projector. Usually that's all I'm going to really need. This is also the lightest of all of the major 1000 watt hour battery stations, which as someone with weak arms, that is really nice. <laughs> and it's not just lighter by like a hair. It's actually lighter by a few pounds, which I think it's really great. I'm lugging this thing in and out of the van when I'm using it. It's not just going to be sitting in the van. Like I'm using it outside to watch a movie. I'm using it to power my fridge away from the van. So I'm usually picking it up, I'm plugging it in, 
and that's gonna be a lot of lifting. So if lifting is something that you're concerned about, then this is definitely something to look into. And the last major area I wanna point out is the noise. This battery is actually quieter than its competition. So if noise level and when charging and when discharging is a big deal to you, then no, this is gonna be a great option comparatively. So all of those things are where I think this battery is excelling. However, when it comes to charging, I think that's probably where they could be doing a little better. It's just kind of average. The emergency supercharge is very impressive, however, and I do like so much that they name it emergency supercharge as other brands don't do that. They just call it things like fast charge. And they're not telling you that the more often you use those features, you're actually going to be lowering and lessening the life cycles and like lifespan of your battery. So yes, these batteries, you know, all different brands can charge in under an hour when you use that fast charge. However, it's not going to be good for your battery in the long run. So you really shouldn't be considering those fast charges, those timeframes as what your battery will really be charging at. So what I really like about Jackery is they've called it the emergency supercharge. So you know you're really only gonna be using that in emergencies if you know you forgot to charge it before you go camping or something like that. It is a very nice feature to have. And yeah, 100% in one hour is really great. However, I won't be using it normally as I know that that's gonna hurt the battery's lifespan. But as I was saying earlier, and I really want to be the overarching message of this video, is that Jackery has really stepped up their game from their last Solar Generator 1000 into this V2 that we have now. Previous Solar Generator 1000 took seven hours to charge by wall outlet, but the V2 only takes 1.6 hours. So they're doing really good at upping their own numbers, and I'm really impressed by that. But if fast charging is what you're really looking for, I would just kind of check out those numbers comparatively. And real quick before we wrap it up, I actually want to show you my previous Jackery, which I've had for over a year. I got this one last year for Christmas to use with my sister to actually watch movies the same way we're doing right now tonight. Um, and I, this one had the lithium ion battery and that's why I wasn't the biggest fan of it. And that's why I wanted to make this video and share the V2 with you guys, because I really liked how they were stepping up the game and the things that they've changed and paid attention. Something else that they actually changed was this light used to be on the side. And as someone who has lived in this van on the floor by a power station for seven months, I really appreciate having this light be able to turn on and shine onto the outlets so I can figure out where I'm plugging things in. So I'm really seeing them stepping up their game and becoming competitive. I am a huge fan of Van City Van Life. He is the van lifer that I would say really got me into van life and he has always raved about these. Um, Nikki Deventhal also, she talks about these a lot and so I really respect both of them and I'm huge fans of their videos and watching them do van life. and. So I wanted to check out this battery and see it for myself and be able to kind of add it to my repertoire of 1000 watt hour batteries and you know share with you guys where it's been competitive against the other ones that I've been having for a while now. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And also I will leave my graph from my previous video about power stations in the description. And yeah, I think it's movie time. Shall we go? I spent the rest of the night just testing out this battery and if you have any questions about the Jackery or power stations or how to know how much power you need, check out the links in the description. But for now, that's a wrap on this video and I hope this review was helpful and thanks for watching.